Well, 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 if it isn't me back with more clothes, all my videos are about clothes. This is essentially a fashion channel now. It's essentially a fashion and thread up channel because this video is sponsored by thread up. I feel like I, I always get like weird about doing this because I'm just like all I talk about is clothes but if you knew me in real life and also if you just paid attention all I really care about is clothes like yes I'm a silly girl yes I can have fun but if I don't have cute outfit on it won't be worth living this shirt is making my boobs look humongous like bigger than they already are this video is going to be not only a collection of really basic fall outfits that I've been re-wearing over and over, but I wanted to show you guys also just like other pieces that I've been collecting in preparation for the fall and winter. If you don't know and somehow you just stumbled across this video, which I guess like the likelihood of that isn't that insane. I live in LA, so there is one outfit that I'll get that out of the way immediately because if you don't live in like Miami or LA I don't know where else in the world you could wear this right now I am pretty geographically uninclined so I don't know who this outfit is gonna help but yeah um we're just gonna do what we do best put clothing on and wear it duh I will say these videos are awesome because I started making them more often in the past like two years and i say it every time i am not the forefront of fashion i am very inclined and in tune with it and i like to keep up with it but i am definitely not the uh end be all of innovation so yeah let's go through some outfits shall we here is the first one both items are from thread up both of the pieces it's a really simple outfit if you don't know what ThreadUp is, ThreadUp is a secondhand online thrifting experience. You can send in and sell your clothes or you can buy your new fall winter wardrobe through ThreadUp. That, I don't know why that was hard to get out. I love ThreadUp so much because I feel like I find some of the best deals on there. They also are always doing sales and you could use my code ENYA for 40% off. Use code Enya for 40% off. In the video, I accidentally sent 10, but Thread Up loves me and y'all so much, they're doing 40% off. So, but yeah, some of my favorite pieces are from Thread Up. I think because people don't know that they can go and dig through there, that there are so many more grails on Thread Up than most sites I've used. I find some of my favorite pieces, literally some of my most worn pieces in my wardrobe I've gotten from Thread Up. And if I ever, for some reason, decide I don't like that piece anymore, I can set it back to thread up and resell it and that is how you extend the cycle of life of clothing you do not need to buy brand new clothing all the time if you are wanting something you should get it second hand because also then it makes you feel more unique and special which is the best part about clothing oh this is actually perfect i posted a tiktok in some little purple shorts and people were like where are these shorts from they're the brand sophie and Sophie is like an old athletic brand. I think they still make stuff, but their best stuff is all their vintage stuff. I got these red shorts from them. These were brand new with the tag. Uh, I did get an extra small, but that's okay because I like fold it down. And I'll usually wear these kind of shorts with a jacket. So like you'll see in the try on haul the way I style these usually. And then, oh my God, I'm so actually excited about this. I got this Agnes B florida top it is so simple but i've really been trying to like get my like graphic tee vibe down i realized that the only graphic tees i like are either band shirts like vintage band shirts or i'll go for something like this that i'm like yes it is true the rumors are true i am from florida but i'm from miami which is a very different vibe because if you tell me i'm from florida i will want to smack you but if you tell me i'm from miami i'm like yes you see me you understand there is a huge difference between the two I am Mo. Oh, that's why I feel weird. None of my jewelry is out. Paired with these uh, 695 New Balances that a friend bought for themselves and it didn't fit them. So they gave them to me because they fit me, which is the best thing that's ever happened to me because they are such a cool style. Like they have this like Velgo, Velgo? Velcro strap. I just think they're really cool. I'm such a matchy matchy person with my outfits. I've realized like so annoying this one i'm so excited for because last year this time i went to japan and i got a bunch of these striped shirts 
and I have been really into stripes which I feel like stripes are just so fall vibes but they can also be very summer like I'm on a boat but like here I go being on a boat I'm never on a boat like I fucking hate boats Loki but that's besides the point I found this St. James actually funny story about how I even found this brand is I went into Ralph Lauren which I rarely am like in physical shops anymore but I've been trying to do that because I'm just like I'm trying to lessen the amount in which I shop unless I do it and I find a good deal because I am a shopaholic. We talk about this all the time. I think it's very obvious. But I went into the shop because I'm like, I need to also do better at just like trying clothes on in person because I like when's the last time I did that? And I tried this on and really liked it. And I was talking to the woman who worked there and I was telling her how I've been on the hunt for a striped red shirt, a very specific vibe of a style red shirt. And she pointed me to the brand St. James and i found this one on thread up for like a really good price it fits exactly how i want i like that the neck is like a little wider but like i do want a boat neck one but like i'm okay with this one and i'm happy to have this one and i think it's really flattering and really cute and i've been like fuck it i'm crazy i'm gonna throw a red sweater over my red striped shirt and this is just uh, a himaguas sweater i got like a year or two ago i think i got it last year uh and i just like wear it when it's cold because that's what you do with sweaters like why are you fucking asking me when i wear it um and then i have it styled with like this brooch that i got in paris last year that i just never wore but now that i'm on my like sweater cardigans vibe i'm taking note from my girl rain and i'm like fuck it like bitch i could wear a brooch like i could tap into brooch and i paired it with these vintage abisu jeans that are like my perfect size they fit me so well and i think they're so flattering although like they do that wiener thing where like the jeans give you a little wiener but like i don't really care because that's just what happens when you wear baggy jeans and yeah and a belt and a belt and i tear i pair it with my tabbies Th this outfit is so you could put any shoes with this outfit as long as they're not like fucking boots like do not be stuffing your jeans and boots bitch i'll hit you <laughs> i should save the best for last <laughs> but this is my favorite thing i got from this thread of paul if you know me you know that one of my favorite skirts is hold on one of my favorite pieces of clothing i own is this vintage jean paul gautier skirt i wear the living crap out of it i love it so much um i got it second hand obviously i love it so so much i actually i wear it so much that i just became obsessed with like these wrap pleated skirts they did from this collection don't ask me what year i don't fucking know i think it's just like a 90s collection i became obsessed with this because they do a bunch of versions of it and last year i found one but it didn't fit me when i got it so i gave it to orion um which was heartbreaking but you know what you do what you do you gotta pass along things for someone else to love uh but i got this skirt and i wore the hell out of it and i was like okay i need this skirt but different you're not ready this one's odd because the material of it is like not like the other one like the other one is what did i say it's like almost wool it's, it's just like fucking who knows like actually let me not sit here and act like i know what material that is and then guess what i'm not gonna look at the tag either because like unimportant this one is just odd because it's like a polyester like nylon ass material like this one i'm actually curious what this is it's rayon okay swear i know what the fuck that means wait a second my only gripes with these skirts is like obviously because they're worn at, they're used the button holes for them become loose and then it's like kind of hard to deal with because they'll like slip off but i don't really care like i don't give a fuck about my skirt falling off my butt like what you're gonna see my butt it's not much to see okay it is very similar in design but the flow of it is super different like the other one is pretty stiff this one has so much movement to it but what makes this one so cool is it has a built-in oversized belt that goes around the back which is perfect because i was a part of falling for the trend of like oversized belts hanging around your waist but no one talks about how hard it is to actually find a belt that is a cool style that actually sits 
at your butt because all of them would just tie like are like they don't even loop around my hips which that's a whole other discussion. It pisses me off. But this one has a built-in and I love this skirt. It's already gotten too much wear. I love it so much. But that's the best part about finding something like this on ThreadUp is like you find a deal, you find an item and it becomes a grail item and it gets a whole new life. And I wore that with this Tank Air tube top. I love this top. I usually wear something over this though because my nipples show through it. And it's like not in a chic way, but in a like call the police way. So I wear something over that, which is this other piece that I've also had for like going on two years now. This piece gets so much wear out of me once it gets a little cold. I think it is like so fucking pretty. It, it is just so gorgeous. It's this kind of cardigan-esque. It's a layer piece because it doesn't like close all the way, but I love wearing this. I feel like I've worn this in try-ons. I've worn it in a video. Um, I used to wear this a lot with like my dark wash high-waisted jeans, but I love this paired with the skirt um, because I just think it looks good. It's like black, brown, black, brown. Listen, I coordinate my outfit. And then I just paired that with these and the Mula Mista boots. These are in, right? Question mark? I think they are. These like Ann boots that I've had for like two years now, they're just cool. I like that they're saggy. They're like, they just say like, I don't give a fuck. Like one thing about me is I don't give a fuck. I'm chill, super chill. I'm a chill girl. I'm not like other girls. Like I just don't even give a fuck. Like I'm just super chill. And before we get into just like items that I've been collecting that I like, um, my last outfit is this freaking awesome comb shirt that I found on ThreadUp. Um, I love these sleeves. They're just like fake stained, which I will say I didn't realize when I bought it that I had that. And when I got it, I was like, I cannot believe how stained this shirt is. And then I realized it was a part of the design, which is pretty cool because I am somebody who spills anyway. So I can go a long time without washing the shirt and nobody will have to know, which is gross. But I really don't wash my clothes that often, which sounds gross. But like I give a shirt like three wears unless I start stinking. Because if I, hello? Can I show you something? Yeah. Oh, wow. You got the candle back here. Look what I got for us. Oh, hell no. And then I got you this. Oh, my God. And I got you a debit card. <laughs> Should I give them a little haul? Yeah, what, Drew's going to interrupt my clothing haul with a snack haul. All right. Hot dogs. Easy. Yeah. It was, I really normally get hot Cheetos, but I was like, you know, I'm feeling hot fries today. They got hot a little fries pump. are the best. They got a little pump tone. Classic. Duh. Remember after you had COVID, these tasted like fungus and bugs? Yeah, and they, eat they finally, like in the last year, came back to normal. And I also did it soon with the Takis, but feel this bag. That's oh, a little light. It's, it's so a empty. a little light. Yeah. Bizarre as fuck. It's crazy how my mouth is watering. Damn, you already ripped into I've these, I broke bitch. into these. That was well, a hundred on the hippo. Yeah, dude, they're so good. Get the, um, either the pink and purple one or that one. That one's watermelon strawberry. They're so fucking good. Mmm. Then I got the Sour Jolly Ranchers no. classic. Kind of fuck with uh, them. Then I got a Butterfinger. A Butterfinger, man. Yeah, I like the way like it gets in the crevices in of your teeth. teeth yeah. You gotta pick it out. And then, oh, Certified Drew Classic. Can you get the fuck out of my room? Let me finish my video. Wow. Anyways, back to the important thing. Clubhouse! <laughs> I got this comb shirt. It's really cool. I like feel like nobody talks about this having big boobs does not allow for layering long sleeves under t-shirts like it just like it like the fabric gets stuck and it, it like i just it like actually will piss me off if i start talking about it too much so i really like when shirts have that extra layer already attached and connected to it because it looks like i'm wearing two shirts but really my big tits would never allow that and comb is helping me have the illusion of that and i just like that this is oversized because i wear it with my super baggy acne jeans probably the most wear out of jeans i've ever gotten i get so many comments and questions about these jeans it's their like 
just their loose fitted jeans i really love these so much i love that i've like worn them enough to start getting this effect on the bottom like i think when jeans wear in they're so much nicer like they look so fucking good and i just wear this with some brown loafers i my only gripe about those jeans is how wide the leg is that no matter what shoe i wear with it really like it just swallows the shoe so usually I'll wear like flats or something with those jeans just because like my shoes, my foot's gonna get swallowed anyway so it doesn't really matter to wear like shoes with it, but yeah. Okay, the last thing I got from ThreadUp, this one is heartbreaking because it doesn't fit which is no one's fault but mine because I just assumed it would fit but these dresses are really finicky and I like knew this was a possibility because I have, actually let me grab the other dress from this like era of Lacoste dresses I have. I have been super into these like 60s-esque 70s mod dresses. I bought these two like earlier in the year around like April or something when it was still cold in LA. So I have this one. This is not from Third Up, but this one I got secondhand too. It's just this like vintage Lacoste one. This is the thing that started my like navy stripe obsession my navy obsession in general i have so much god forsaken navy in my fucking closet i think i just feel like it's a really flattering color on me i wear so much like black grays browns whites that i felt like navy would just interlude into it really well which actually is not the truth because i break the rule all the time that's like you're not supposed to wear navy and black but i do it anyway because like you're not gonna fucking tell me what colors to wear together bitch because if i saw navy and black on a painting together i'd be like wow that's a gorgeous painting so why can't i wear it on my body those colors together you're a freak and you're weird and you're following rules that someone made up with that being said i love this but it's the problem with these dresses is they're always too short or they're too like petite these are all like older dresses when like the times were all fucked up and they were making shit for literal babies so it's really hard to find these in an adult ass size so this is just on me i did not look at the measurements because i have a big problem of doing that which is also why i said i need to shop in store more but i'm going on a tangent i got this one off of thread up it is so fucking cute i really want to see if there's anything i can do if like maybe i can just go get the sides cut to like open it up or like there's a folded base to like to the hem i want to take it to um i just want to see if i can like save this dress before handing it off because i have a friend who i know would fit so good and i don't want to give it to her because i want it and it was such a good deal um but yeah i got this lacoste one won't even try it on for y'all because it doesn't go down my butt and it's not wide enough to like this one luckily is wide enough that i usually just wear this one with jeans so it just looks like i'm wearing like a dress over jeans and it looks cute and i can get away with it but this like style of dress has been my new obsession especially these ones are like a thick like wooly polyester ass these ones keep me warm so like my other one that i really like is this red one this one fits but this one's red and navy which is hello everything this one's also longer it's like actually a dress it's not me cosplaying wearing a dress with my freaking cooch out which is kind of a vibe i've really been leaning into having my coochie out like i used to be like not about it but now i am about having my coochie out because i really don't care like what are you gonna do call the police because you saw my coochie why are you looking for my coochie what the fuck I also in the past year have become obsessed with jackets. I feel like every thread up haul I've done, I usually have a jacket. I stopped myself this time because I need to stop buying jackets, but I have so many jackets that I had to clean out the front closet and have a jacket, a place for jackets. To be fair, I do visit like New York and just colder climates more often now. So it feels like I had a reason to have jackets, but really nobody has to have as many jackets as me. Also a new obsession I've had is like wearing my, like the letter E. Like I got a varsity jacket with a huge E on it. I have a cardigan with a huge E on it. Like I am very self-centered and self-obsessed, but that is okay. This jacket, I was stalking for so long and the second it went on sale, you better believe I fucking bought it and I love it so much. I already got a lipstick stain on it because I don't take care of the things I love or the people. It's this nylon like suit, like it kind of feels like I'm gonna work at a valet when I wear this, but like in a cunty way. I think it is so cool. Like I love that it is both masculine and feminine like what makes it feminine to me is like this shiny big bow like bow um button that's almost almost pearly to me like i mean they could have thrown a big pearl on here and i would have thought it was the ugliest thing ever because something about me is like i do not fuck with pearls don't talk about it i don't like i don't like pearls um 
they piss me off for me for me like when other people wear pearls i'm like you are serving princess diana cunt like wow like you are looking royal right now my queen and when i wear pearls it's like wow you are serving toddler and tiaras my girl um but yeah i love this fucking jacket so much again i don't think you can tell but it's navy i just wear this with the jeans i wore in this video all the time i love this jacket i fucking love this jacket and then if you know anything you know that russell is like they make the best crew necks duh but i found this in a shop in la it's like also if you know i keep being like if you know me but i i just that's my way of making up excuses for why i just buy the same thing in different colors and different vibes um but i have so many bomber jackets and i love a good bomber jacket but i also love a good zip up like i love a good gray oversized zip up actually one of the things i bought for this video was a d squared zip up but again it didn't fit me i had to give it to my friend because i'm stupid but that's besides the point um I love a good zip up and this bomber zip up that's like all cotton so it's like the material of a zip up hoodie but it's in a bomber shape and I think it is so cute and I wore this with that one outfit so loving this oh you scared me I thought you were a duel I have to perform something for you real quick for me to check it out Hey there, my duo. I like your skin. It's real trippy. There's a thousand squads outside, but I will kill them and hit the gritty like I do. Gold scars can't shine as bright as you. I swear it's true. Hey there, my duo. Don't worry about the distance. I'm right there, and if you're weak, I'll pop a big and sit and listen. Close your eyes. Listen to my comms. I'll fight these guys. So do I. Why are you nervous? Oh, what you do to me? Why you standing, Drew? Oh, Why was that so intimate? Gotta get my attention. I know. Put this in the video. Let them know. Let them know. I almost kicked your flame, by the way. Oh my god, that would have fucking been awful. Get back. Yeah. And then I'll make this quick. My last items. Um, oh my god, I also have a shoe obsession right now. It's bad. I'm a shopaholic, guys. Like I'm really, like, I'm consumed. But I love this Aritzia top. It's super simple and basic. Um, but that's like the best thing ever. Actually, it's like, I like when basics do a little oomph to them. And this has like kind of like an off the shoulder. But since it's one of their like body contour pieces, it holds everything in place. So I don't have to like be like, cool, I have an off the shoulder top. I need to figure out what bra I'm going to wear so my tits don't fly around. But this shirt's got me. And then I feel like y'all have seen this piece in my rotation. But I love wearing these pants every winter i look forward to getting to wear these pants the day these don't fit me anymore will be a day of distress and despair for me these are my beauty beast cheetah pixel print pants and they're wool so they're perfect for the winter like i can barely get away with wearing them in the summer because they make me so warm they turn my coochie into an easy bake oven so i cannot wear them in the summer <laughs> But yeah, I love these. I think they're so flattering too. Although like they do compress the little bit of butt I do have. That's okay because clothes don't always have to accentuate your, your features. Sometimes they are too high. And that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you'll probably see me do this again because this is the only video that anyone can ever make me do because the one thing that brings me joy is clothing oh actually i'm gonna show one more thing i'm gonna show one more thing this okay these were really popular last summer like the bonnet for the cold but i just never got one i had some like more like random ones i had a balaclava that was really cool that i didn't wear that much but these i feel like are just easier to wear <gasps> I finally got my hands on the Paloma wool bonnet. I think it is so cute and flattering. But then I said, you know what? I wanted this one for a year and I finally have it. But because I am excessive and I don't know when to stop, I went a step further and got one from my favorite brand, Shushu Tong. Like I'm sure a lot of y'all have noticed now that that's one of my favorite brands. Um, and anytime anything from them goes on sale, I can't help myself because I love a good deal. But... You're like, okay, cool. No, you don't understand. It's more than cool. 
bitch, it's cunt. It is amazing. It is so excessive. I think you're meant to tie it in a bow, but I'm like kind of not into that vibe right now. I'd rather just drape it around and I think it's really cute. And I was wearing this in New York and it kept me all nice and warm and I have to travel somewhere cold for work next week and this will be thrown in my bag. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, keep that to yourself because it's unnecessary to tell me and I'd much rather not know. And don't forget to use code ENYA for 40% off if you decide to go and shop on ThreadUp. Back to the video I'm editing, so this is awkward. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video.